As of 2022, there are more than 5 billion internet users worldwide. And if you put that into perspective, there are only about 8 billion people on this planet more or less. So that's a huge chunk of the world's population using the internet. And if you want to take it a bit further, about 59% of people on this planet use social media. And the assumption is that these numbers are going to increase as time goes on. So what does that mean for you, the aspiring tech worker? Well, that means that you're going to need to be capable of riding the tech wave. But that's easier said than done because as we all know, technology has been growing exponentially since like the 1960s or so. Which means that there's a lot of innovation happening in technology, but that also means that there's the introduction of new technologies very frequently. So for us aspiring tech workers or people already working in this field, you're going to need to be capable of learning things very quickly and efficiently. And more importantly, you're going to need to be able to learn things very frequently. New things and new technologies are introduced to this field on a daily basis. So in order to be able to ride the wave, you're going to have to be capable of learning things very frequently and efficiently. Now, I personally have reached a point where I become very comfortable with learning new things very frequently. And this actually wasn't always the case for me like for me actually it was the opposite for most of my life I pretty much assumed that I couldn't learn anything seemingly difficult like I had this mental block like I was sort of hard-coded into my brain like there are certain things that I'm just not capable of learning but eventually I noticed something and what I noticed actually changed my life for the better and it didn't only impact my ability to learn things in the field of tech, but it impacted my ability and my confidence in learning and self-studying pretty much anything. So I'm going to go over how I'm able to self-study pretty much anything as a software engineer. So before doing anything, the first thing that you need to do, and you need to start doing this like right now, is you need to smash that like button. No, I'm just kidding, but not really. Anyways, the first thing that you need to do is you need to brainwash yourself because that's basically what happened to you when you were a child, or at least that's what happened to me. As a child, I was always categorized by adults, more specifically teachers based on some BS criteria, and I essentially wasn't categorized as being one of the smart kids. And because children are very malleable, I eventually started to accept my given categorization as not being one of the smart kids because if you're a child and you're continuously being put into this box with this invisible ceiling on it that tells you that you're not capable of achieving anything beyond that invisible ceiling and if the people that are putting you into this box or categorization are adults you're of course going to start to believe that that categorization is where you stand in comparison to your peers and the funny thing about brainwashing is, unless you somehow become enlightened to the fact that you have been brainwashed, which is a feat in and of itself, those self-imposed restrictions that you developed as a result of being put into a specific category can stay with you for potentially the rest of your life. So yeah, you need to start brainwashing yourself to eliminate those self-imposed limitations that were likely imposed on you by some outside source at some point in your life. Which brings me to the next step. So once you've started to realize that you are in fact brainwashed and that these limitations are artificial, you can start to convince yourself by proving to yourself that these limitations that you have are in fact self-imposed. So you need to start proving this to yourself, or better yet, you need to start disproving the limitations. This is like a muscle that can be exercised. And this is the muscle that you're going to want to exercise in order to basically level up your ability to quickly and efficiently learn new things. And the way that you're going to exercise this muscle is by following a five-step learning framework. 
And the more that you apply this framework, the stronger that muscle is going to become. And eventually those limiting beliefs about yourself and your capabilities are going to disappear. So let's get into the framework. So the first step to this framework is to keep things organized from the beginning by creating a template. And the way I like to create the template is by using Notion, but you can use any app or even pen and paper to create this template. But what this template should include is the topic that you want to learn, your reason for wanting to learn this topic, and this part is very important and we'll go into more detail in a bit, the resources that you plan to use to learn this topic, an idea for a project that will allow you to get hands-on with your learning, and some way of teaching this topic to somebody else. So these are just categories, but you're going to populate them with more info. And this same template can be used whenever you want to learn something new. The other steps of the five-step learning framework basically involve populating and executing on this template. So the next step is to make sure you have a reason for wanting to learn whatever it is you are pursuing. Because if you don't have a reason for wanting to learn whatever it is that you're pursuing, it's going to be difficult for you to be consistent. But if you have an end goal in mind, then bridging the gap between where you're at now and that end goal will happen much more naturally. The next step to this learning framework is to find good resources. I can't stress this enough it's okay to spend lots of time searching for good resources because those resources are going to carry you to your next milestone. But on the contrary, bad resources are just going to set you back. So you need to make sure you find good resources. The next step of this framework is to make sure you're not just passively consuming learning materials. You're not going to learn anything if you just sit around watching content without ever actually getting your hands dirty. It's very important that you come up with some personal project that makes use of the topic that you're learning and seeing it through to completion. Get your hands dirty. And the last step of this five step learning framework is to share your understanding Understanding with others. This is going to absolutely solidify your understanding. This is because when you're explaining something to someone else, you're forced to notice the gaps in your understanding. And you're forced to go back and fill in those gaps so that you can successfully explain something to somebody in an intuitive way. And that's where you're going to really solidify your understanding of whatever it is that you are learning. But yeah, that's my two cents on that. If you were hoping for a hack, I apologize. But if this video was helpful or informative for you, go ahead and leave a like and I'll see you in the next one.